Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're doing it in 1440p because a lot of people requested it in 4040p. So here it is in 4040p. Also here, amazing results. Again, uh, we do side by side and preset K quality and preset M performance. Normally I don't pause the videos and stuff. But I think maybe for this it is worth it to show the results a little bit better. If you see here at the tourist information, you really see it preset K quality. It looks blurry, although when you're playing, you don't see it at all. So when you just play the game, you won't see any difference. At least that was my opinion. But there actually is, an, is a difference. You see also in the still image with the performance that the sign is way sharper. But again, when playing, you don't see this. But also what is a nice improvement is the FPS. We're going from 115 to 150. Like that is a huge performance lift. Uh, the power is a little bit less. RAM usage about the same for this. But in general, you do use sometimes a bit less VRAM, at least in 4K. In 4040p, I didn't really take notice at it but it looks like maybe it's using a bit more vram actually at 1440p here again when you're playing at full speed when driving hell no you're gonna watch that uh, the cacti or the weird s3 that is there but when you stop the image you clearly see a difference actually like you see the preset m performance is actually way sharper than preset k quality even at 1440p so it does huge a little bit of more VRAM though what I noticed in 4040p so if you don't have enough I don't know but I think most cards have at least 8 gigabytes you see it's allocating 11.8 gigabytes but that is not the usage the usage is memory U and that is 7.9 so actually 8 gigabytes so if you have an 8 gigabyte card you should be good so here is the the walk that I also did in a 4K video. Again, when you're walking, nothing changes. It is when you stop the video and actually zoom in where you see the changes. That's why I usually don't stop and zoom in. Because I don't play when stopping and zoom in. I'm just playing. And if I can't see a difference, but one preset gives me more FPS, then yeah, of course, I will use the preset that gives me more FPS. So in this case, that is preset and performance. Because when you play, you don't see a difference. At least that was my opinion in 4040p. Also, I tested this on a native 4040p monitor for the best results. So just letting you guys know. But also it's nice you're getting a little bit of improved latency. Now, this was all the ray tracing. Now, I also did a path tracing. So here's the path tracing results. With preset K quality, we're getting... 75-ish FPS and with performance we're getting about 100, 105 FPS so that's a nice uplift the VRAM here looks about the same um, the sign again even in part tracing it looks way better with preset and performance we also get a little bit less latency so that is also really nice the rest it uses a bit more of my CPU I see it uses less power, uh, about 100 megabytes more VRAM in actual use. Like the allocation, we don't really need to pay attention for it because it's not using the allocated VRAM, it's using the used VRAM. Uh, for the rest, a bit the same, but it looks a lot better, honestly. So yeah, that is honestly nice to know. So even for 4040p from the testing, what I've done... I also tested it a bit in Paul World and a little bit in uh, Assassin's Creed Mirage and Shadows. Also there in 4040p, way better in preset and performance. Here with fast speed, yeah, there isn't a human on earth I think that could see the difference when going that fast. But yeah, when you pause the video and check at it, then yeah, you can actually see a difference. But the main difference is like the sharpness the ghosting and yeah more fps here for example the memory usage is two gigabytes less so that is actually insane and this is on path racing so that is nice at least when you're driving fast 
Again, less latency, which is amazing. Frame time looks a bit more stable. Not a lot, just a little bit, but we gain a lot of FPS. So yeah, when you're just playing the game and you can choose between preset K quality and preset M performance and you don't actually see the difference when playing, then go for preset M performance because more FPS for the same quality. But when we stop and zoom in, we actually see it is actually a bit better quality. Everything looks a bit more polished, more sharp. Yeah, I'm all for it. So yeah, look at here, like the palm tree, the leaves, um, the stem or the trunk. I don't know how it's called in English, but you see a little bit of shadow. So that is not anything uh, for the GPU or anything. It is just the sun that shines a bit this way. But if you look at the leaves, it is way sharper. I just hope that YouTube doesn't uh, removes the quality and that it isn't compressing the video that much. I hope you can still see the difference. I assume it would in the 4K video. You could also very clearly see the difference. So I hope here too. So yeah, there's actually really nice news that even in 1440p, the performance mode is usable and more than usable i actually suggest using it because it is really that great i've played around for like two or three days now with uh, the dlss 4.5 with preset m on performance quality ultra performance uh, i don't suggest the ultra performance i really suggest the performance mode for preset m and if you can, the quality mode, I will later probably make a video about it. But yeah, at least it beats preset K quality. At least in this game in 4040p. Uh, there's plenty of games that I didn't test yet, but at least in this game, I would suggest preset M performance. Because that is, yeah, I don't know, it's magic. <laughs> ah, it isn't magic, but uh, yeah, it is great. So... Let me know in the comments what preset you guys be using. And if you have any questions, also let it be known in the comments. If you want a specific video like this one, let it know in the comments and maybe I will make it. Because this one was also re requested in the comments in the previous video. And yeah, here it is. So if you guys like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Put a like, put a comment. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.